Hello, welcome to another one of our video devotions that goes along with our sermon series, Easter Victory, where we look at the gifts God gives us in the resurrection of Jesus. You're in week three, day three, and uh, today we're going to look at a different portion of scripture, but I'm back in my backyard, and I'm doing that because I got some complaints. Last time when I recorded uh, here with the dogs, uh, people complained because there were no dogs in the video, so I'm going to fix that right now. See? Dogs in the dog video. All right. Hopefully that'll take care of the people who were complaining. Uh, today we're going to look at the book of Romans. We're going to look at chapter 5. Uh, and actually, I don't know if you know this or not, but on Sunday, if you're with us, we looked at chapter 8. Uh, today we're going to look at 5. And between the two, we'll look at two of the three times that Paul covers the topic of hope in depth in the book of Romans. I wonder what we'll do tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to start off here. Um, in chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of glory of God. So what Paul says about hope comes in the context of understanding our identity and our relationship with God. And actually, for us to unpack this, it actually kind of makes sense if we would, in essence, read what Paul said going backwards. So if we start at the end of what I just said, it would be something like this. We have hope, or el peace, this is expectation. Our expectation is that one day we will fully experience the glory of God. And we are connected to this hope and experience because we stand in a state of grace. In other words, we are fully loved, fully forgiven by God. And we have access to this through faith. In other words, through knowing and trusting what Jesus Christ has done. And what he's done is he's reconciled us to God. He has uh, brought forgiveness and peace to us so that we're no longer in conflict with God, but instead we're in a right relationship with him. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. Not only do we rejoice in the expectation of experiencing the glory of God, Paul says we also rejoice in our suffering. And I think probably all of us would respond to that the same way. So if we follow Paul's point here, he says that we rejoice in our suffering because in the end, suffering produces hope. And how? Well, in the midst of our suffering, literally meaning trouble, oppression, can even mean persecution, when we're going through suffering, it eventually leads to endurance. This is uh, translated as something like staying power. So when we're suffering and when we have staying power, we stay with it, we begin to realize that God is using it, and he uses it to produce character. Uh, and this is a cool word, dokemi, it literally means proof or testing. So in essence, what Paul is saying is that in our times of suffering, when we learn to rely on God more and more, he uses it to build our character. And one of the things that it will build in us is a knowledge of hope, that we can always trust and rely on him. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Having this hope from God, which has been proven uh, during previous times of suffering, shows us and assures us that God won't let us down, that we'll never be put to shame is the way Paul puts it, but uh, that idiom in English isn't the same in Greek. Really what it means is that God has shown himself to be reliable and dependable, that he's come through with, for us time and time again in moments of suffering. And this is evidenced by his great love that he has showered upon us, and that is proven by the gift of the Holy Spirit. So my prayer for you, if you're in a, one of those times of suffering, is to be reminded that we have a God who is trustworthy, a God that is reliable. Uh, he has come through for us time and time again, and he's demonstrated his love ultimately in the gift of his son, Jesus Christ, his death and his resurrection. Alleluia, he is risen. Fetch!